Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to the Hofbergman. It's been a while. Has been quite a long time, it feels like. But we are back. We're back in the saddle, so to speak. And tonight we've got some corn we've got to chaff up. Since we were last together, I did go ahead and mow, not mow, but collect the rest of the grass that was over on the field to the north. We sold that field, and with the profits, I have purchased field nine, which is right across the street from the farm. It has corn in it. Picked up this fabulous forage harvester and a large trailer. We're gonna have a ton of silage because we had, I don't know, a couple hundred thousand liters of grass off that field. That is now compacted and covered in our bunker. Dozer, Jonathan, Farmer G, Waylon, welcome all. Welcome one, welcome all. How's everyone been? Zipper, what is up? What is up? A lot of maps been updated today, but none released. Which meant we're going to be able to uh, we'll have a little bit of time together tonight. Do a little farming and a little chilling. I did. I did see Carpathian Countryside got an update. I didn't read it, but I did see both of the uh, variants of the map had an update. Let's work on our reversing here. There we go. Not the best, but it's good nonetheless. Thalith, is that right? Welcome. Welcome to the channel. Saleh. I don't know how you pronounce that. Gonna be using we're gonna be using a silage mostly for TMR mixing at the moment try to get our bulls up to a hundred percent health they are currently suffering in health because of uh, the fact that we've just fed them some hay oh we just silly just there we go. There we go. We got her going now. Park this thing in a shrubbery. Off we go. I probably didn't need really to get this cornfield and do this because of all the silage we're working on with respect to the grass bunker, but. This will get us TMR a little quicker. And we can always sell the, uh, we can always sell the silage over to BGA once we buy that. Once 
once the fog of war lifts, so I'll show you the harvester I picked up off the mod hub. It's been out for quite a long time. It definitely fit my needs economically, and it kind of fits with the age. Miss Hillbilly, I'm doing good. Yes, I'm doing good. We missed last night. I had some work-related things to, uh, to focus on. That all got resolved around 11.30. I wouldn't have been able to focus on on what we were doing because I've been too uh, too worried I missed a call or a communication about our outage so it's all good it all worked out we can be here tonight out to this forge harvester also has a nice hitch on the rear you don't have to worry about trying to follow a hired helper going up and down the field jack t good evening for the marvin the martian fan go wrong with that. I'm also still trying to figure out why my carrots aren't spawning at the uh, the garden at the farm. I feel like I should have seen a crate of carrots already, but it's a no-go. I'm going to have to empty the compost pile and delete that and see what happens. Let's see if my carrots start to show up. Two beautiful fields of barley. I did weed one of those fields already today. So we'll be definitely ready to start brewing come next early summer. Number two.
Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to Hoff Bergman. It is the second day of October, and we are, well, we're having, we're having a bit of a forage harvest. I picked up a field of corn, and it's just ripe and ready. Ripe and ready for the harvest, so we're going to be chopping that up. Putting it here in our fermenter. We've got to get some fermentation additive and get this thing you know, rocking and rolling. But before we can get any of that done, we're going to have to successfully reverse this trailer up to the uh, fermenter. Not a bad task, not a bad task, I will say. We want to get... Uh, I don't think this is it. Yep, this is it. Fix Firm Additive. Let's buy two of these. We'll come back down to the shop later and pick those up. Catch everyone up to speed. We now have almost a huge pile. I don't know how much is in here. It's at 98% fermenting compost. And then over here, we have 34%. This is grass that's now being fermenting into silage. So we're going to soon have a lot of silage. Because we're going to have everything from our fermenting silo, which we're stuffing now. A couple hundred thousand liters of grass. And probably a couple hundred thousand liters of compost. I think we'll be rolling in the dough soon enough. Autumn harvest, winter reward. How's everybody been tonight? We've talked a little bit about the mods that dropped, the maps that got updated today, Carpathian Countryside. Chris said had a really nice update. I did not have a chance to read the change log, so I'd love to hear from Chris or anyone else that knows what was added or changed, and what that might be. We are rocking the Kloss Jaguar 820. This is a model with Giant's Mod Hub. It's been out for quite a long time. I thought it fit our farm quite well. It's a harvester from the mid 90s, according to the description. And it was quite economical at just $100,000. If you remember last live stream, we were mowing up here in field 35. We have since sold field 35. We got $335,000 for that. With that money, we picked up field 13, or should I say field nine, farmland 13, as well as our harvester here and our trailer. That pretty much drained it all the way back down now to just six thousand dollars it's like we're not allowed to have money here it's an interesting mod that dropped earlier today it looks like you now have to fill silage wrap or bale wrap in your wrappers and combo balers we've had the net wrap add-on we've had the twine add-on for quite a while that allows you to use twine as a consumable or net wrap as a consumable for your round balers but now it looks like we have the ability to have our silage bale wrap also as a consumable. I'm really looking forward to using that at some point if we get into 
round bales. I look forward to having more consumables overall. There's also an update to the oil mod, right? The grease mod. I saw that today, but I didn't look at the change log of that one either. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. So if you miss the fall planting, you can you can grab it in the spring. That's nice because I can tell you there's been times where I've started a map and completely lost track of time and missed missed a fall planting and been like, well, I'm done now. I gotta wait a whole year. Take a look on the inside of this. It's pretty nice. Not bad. Oh, you were saying the... Oh, okay. I get you know You were talking about the food changes in the update earlier. I thought you were talking about this map. Because your comment was right around the same time frame I was talking about. Um, about the same time I was talking about us having silage here. The corn is pretty dang tall. It's it's taller than the harvester nearly. It's a good thing it didn't fall over in the wind. We had a storm last night here on the map. That would just be my luck. We'd have we'd have flattened cornfield after a after a thunderstorm day before we harvest it. That would be an interesting thing to get added to the game. Is crop loss as a result of weather. We kind of had that with seasons in 19. We would have crop loss if it was too dry. We have failed germination and such. Yeah, a little toss, a little random randomization in there. That would be cool. Go nine, Matt. Welcome. Welcome one, welcome all, welcome each and every one of you. Schultz is here, and that's why we should announce that Mark Bauer and Alan McCone are Farm Barons. Thank you for being a Farm Baron. And thank you for supporting this live stream. Is still hell diver two. I picked up hell diver two from a kid. It might not be a game that you that you uh, you want your kid playing. I don't know. He enjoys it. Oh, Matt, today is going well. We work from home today. I got to bed late last night because we had the phone outage at work. That didn't get cleared up to around 
And then right about the time I get laid down, the kid comes out of the bedroom and tells me he got sick. Oh, so up out of the bed we go and well we clean his sheets and everything off and get laundry started at some point after midnight. Thunder's nice. Now we need a little lightning. Like ATS. A little boom in our. A little boom in our. Uh, in our day. A little flash of light. I think he's got a little bug or something. He got sick on uh, Saturday evening also. But we had a big lunch and he was in the pool at a hotel with some friends and we kind of thought it was maybe he drank too much water because, you know, when you're young, you don't know not to drink the water in the pool. But then when he got sick yesterday, we thought, well, maybe he's got a little bit of a bug. So we kept him home today. See how he does and send him off tomorrow. It's one of those things that just has to work your way out of the system. I was like, why did you not pick that one up? Guess it was too close. Oh, the mention in Schultz before you got here, we had that mod drop today that gave us uh, that gave us silage bale wrap as a consumable. Now it looks like. You have to buy pallets of bale wrap and fill your wrappers with that. So we've got our net wrap additive or net wrap usable. We got twine that's a consumable. And now we have our bale wrap that's a consumable. All great things. All right, now we have our silage additive, we can get our fixed firm fermenter running. Is that over at his uh, itch page, wherever he releases stuff?
Let's see if that works. We need to lift it up. So we need to pick it up slightly. Drain this liquid a little bit. So that link is a mod that has grain moisture. So you have to dry the grain either in the field or in a dryer before you deliver it. Is that how it works? All right, now we can pop it on. Now that everyone's had a few uh, days to a week to um, digest the news about the farm production pack, what is everyone's thoughts? Has your thoughts changed since last week? I'm still very much looking forward to it and really looking forward to trying out that Lily Sphere. Matt, what is literally the first part of the stream title? It would be interesting if we can have a um, a crop moisture tester. Come out to the field and like pretend you're you're getting grain and then check your moisture at the field. I don't know, Matt. I'm sure there are. I maintain a fairly neutral stance and follow no one. So I don't keep up with the hype. That way I'm not overly hyped by anything coming out. Early access to the mod pack. Yes, hopefully next week. Hopefully. That'll be great. Now, of course, if you want to, if you want to pre-order and you're so inclined on PC to purchase through the Giants eShop, we do have an affiliate link down in the description. We do get a little bit of a kickback and just let you know that you all have helped move me up to silver level in the last few weeks, so thank you very much. Found out just before we headed out to PAX that we had bumped from bronze to silver level partner. And that is 100% Thanks to those using the affiliate link and picking up stuff off the Giants eShop. That's all well and good, Scooter. That's all well and good. Last thing I want anyone to do is feel like they, they wasted their money. Everyone has the right to know full well and good what they're getting. 
Now, anyone who does have the pack on release night, DLCs are, yes, all paid DLCs are all platform. So anyone who happens to have the DLC on release night, which is going to be April 29th, when we live stream April 29th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, the DLC would have already been released for a period of two hours over at the Giants eShop. I'm going to be hosting a launch party in multiplayer. Anyone who has the DLC can join during that launch party, and it's a great opportunity for folks like Scooter to watch other players use the product and then at the end of the live stream give their thoughts on what they think of using the pack kind of first hand from the fellow players I think it really does help Sean, if you're talking about the launch party, you need to be in the Discord. And I'll post information about that on the 29th. If you're talking about tonight, this is single player only. But we'll have plenty of slots up to 16. 16 individuals we've never filled up a server but hey we can always try Waylon what's up sir how are you doing tonight uh, let's pick up some phantom corn stays up for our live streams all the time. He's a huge fan. Probably at least probably at least 36 inches in diameter. That's a big fan. this fermenter. Oh, shoot. There we go. And then I've been trying to get, um, trying to get some good contracts, but you know, it seems like the AI likes to plant carrots. They like to plant beets. They like to plant parsnips. And it doesn't seem like they ever want to harvest any of those. So I'm thinking, you know, if you're not willing to harvest them, why are you planting them in the first place?
have to go check on our bulls earlier. Or later. I was looking at them earlier and they haven't really... They haven't really produced. No, that's that's not my rules. I'll be all like Mr. T on that. I I pity the fool. I pity the fool that does that. a good kick in the tail end. Wake him up. He should be good to go now. He was sleeping. Now y'all can do your heist and all your other fun stuff too. Streamlabs took all your points away. Desert Ox, welcome. How you doing? How are things going? Anybody keep up with how many mods are pending testing? Have we gotten that countdown to a reasonable level yet? Or are things still coming in faster than they can get them out? I think Tukey takes your points away. Uh, 
how full is this production? Okay, we're good. We're good. We're not gonna fill that up. 178, that's a lot lower than it was. I feel like it was broaching 300 there at one point. Seven days to go through 178 mods. What is that like? 20, 25 a day on average. It's got to be about 25. was good for something today. Well, you know, if Zilaka is still scratching that itch, then let that itch just keep getting scratched. You know, this map is a bit different than others in that there's a lot of things going on and a lot of things are very manual. As such, a lot of things take a lot longer than they would if you could simply just dump product into a into an input trigger and pull product out of a of an output trigger. And we need to go check out our honey. I didn't do that yet today. What made me think about that is I was thinking about the the cherry trees. Two hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. We're not going to be able to afford that for a while. I don't even think I can afford the community garden. Let's see how much that is. Twenty seven thousand for that. be ready when the hops come back they pay out really well in front has got the rear a little light on this thing
I'm guessing we've got another two loads off that field. TMR mixer yet. With what money they say, right? I don't think I have a mixer. No mixer. I guess it's October. We should see if we have any um, any jack-o'-lanterns scattered around the map. What was it? Talbak. That's the one we had where we had jack-o'-lanterns as deco objects. Genetic J, what is up? What is up? How are things going? much that's a lot I think we should be able to take our honey down to the bakery and they can make us honey buns. I think they would sell well. Better than that bread that they, they're offering. Been a little slow map for a slow week for maps. I hope that doesn't mean we have a massive dump tomorrow. 
for Friday. I really want to get back to Wreckfest. I missed Wreckfest last Friday. Due to what, just two maps? Was it three? I think it was two. How's that working out for you? One, one glass of tea a day is like, man, that's, that's cutting back. Is it a uh, is it an effort to cut down caffeine or something else? We're gonna get less than one full load out of this. Oh, it's a bit of a diet then. Completely giving up on liquid bread. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Yeah, hopefully the kidneys being sore aren't uh, the signs of other things. Little spiky things. been a good harvester nice and cheap
DJ, what's up? How are things going? Alright, there we go. I typically try to do... I do one can in the morning. That's, that's my morning coffee equivalent. Is one can in the morning. And really, I just sip on that all day, or basically as long as the can will last. Sometimes it goes to about lunch. Then, uh, then I'll tend to do a glass at lunch. And then that will typically be the the the, uh, the soda for the rest of the day. Although, I don't really want to think about how much how much tea gets beveraged. I mean, we've got, we've got two, uh, after all, we have two pitchers of tea in the fridge at any one point in time. do we have 3,000 4,000 liters of silage I think we're gonna have to uh You're gonna have to borrow some money. Only two pallets, crates of honey. Here we go. Uh, DJ, we are on PC. See how much more we have here. Really wish we could put an extra extractor down. I feel like this this extractor would is not extracting enough. for the beehives that we have. I think it's full. Nope. It's gotta get full after this one. Uh. 
Okay. Let's figure out what else we can get into. I mean, I guess we should, we should do the soil. It's gonna take all our money and figure out where our lime is. Superfly, what is up? Oh, we're getting ready to uh, mix up some TMR here in a bit. Is this ready yet? Oh, yes. Let's spread some compost. What does everybody think about that? Oh. I thought I was getting lime, but instead I was getting diesel fuel. All right, let's figure out where our... Oh, it's over here. Oh, I have a weight on the back. That's why I couldn't connect to it. Are you getting ready to put something in that bunker too? Yeah, I think let's do, uh, let's spread compost. Let's see what that does for us. That's that's a bummer. We'll refuel it before it runs out. Don't worry. Ah, uh, that is a my. That's that's. Uh -oh. That comes with the download. 
explore the map. have to bring the bags in. Sh Schultz is fuel insecure, so we like to let him stress about it. It is. It's over at lsmods.com or lsformingmods.com. It is the. Do, 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 do. It's basically a modded version of the base game one that has a little character. Just a little fun tweak. So you can find that over here. Uh, yep, you need to have an active account. It is a very legit site. And well worth creating an account for. There we go. Now we can go lime our. At least it started liming our corn. They freely accept mod submissions. They're very particular over there. And they 100% do not just repost giant mods. They're a legit site that posts quality mods from a select mod group. Mod team, if you will. Well, you can always try and see what they do with submissions. Well, what I was just getting at is they're not your, they're not your average mod site that's that's all about just getting the more most mods possible. Uh, whereas a lot of mod sites will 
will basically accept anything and everything they can get their hands on. I don't know how they work submissions. Oh, I think we'll come close enough to doing this field that we won't have to get any more. If we're strategic about it, we can probably get nearly all of it. not have thought that that would have done the whole field. So that's the same site that that hosts this map and hosts all the other LSFM mods. Let's go get that. Yeah, like I said, they're very selective. And you'll probably see that most of them are from the same folks. Are you serious? You don't pick this up. There we go. Alright, there we are. Why are you not taking compost? Should. Oh. 
It is on. Fine, we'll just do it the old fashioned way. Oh, what? Look, look at you. Let's see what this does. It's supposed to work. I guess we're not going to compost the field. That's frustrating. Puts us back to about where we were. Artemis, what's up? What is up?
Come around that corner, I was thinking maybe. Maybe that grass is nearly ready to cutting it. Uh. <laughs> well, it's more like what the load of bull is not about. <laughs> the bulls have. Uh, uh, watch out, DHL. The bulls have not been very productive. I need silage. I need a bay I need to feed him TMR. And that should then get their health up to a hundred percent. So we just did a field of corn. Put it in our fix firm fermenter. Put lime on the field and now we're, well, we were going to put manure on the field. Not manure, compost. Good old compost. But ran into a little difficulty. I think we're on a, on the road to recovery. Yes, the driver's like, I don't know, I just I just drive the truck. There we go. Walk backwards, dude. Walk like an Egyptian. we have in here? 156,000 liters. Oh, walking backwards? It sounds like your warehouse is boring. All these rules. Rules, schmools. It's more like whoever made that rule up is not coordinated and couldn't walk backwards. So they didn't want anyone else doing it either. All right, let's see how much. Oh, uh, we get plus 60. So this is just like manure and a slurry or any other organic fertilizer. Each application is going to give you a fixed amount of nitrogen into the soil. You can of course do multiple applications. There is no option to auto because there's no crop in the ground yet. So what we're doing is we're offsetting. In theory, we're going to offset how much mineral fertilizer we use by putting down the organic. Oh, 
Oh, this is going a lot slower than I thought it would, too. We've almost made a full round and we haven't even used half. Half the load. Boom, right there, we've used half the load. Well, hopefully they're coming on a refrigerated truck. Otherwise, your frozen goods will be not frozen goods. And can you get frozen goods in a, pro in a produce pallet on the same truck? Are they able to store things at different temperatures in the truck? I mean, produce should be fine chilled, but you know, deep frozen, not, not so much. Is that is that food you for? Is that is that even close? Thank you for liking the videos and glad you can make a stream. I know we stream at odd hours for for a lot of farm sim viewers, but that is just a byproduct of where we live and and when we're available to do things. All right, let's go get another load of compote. Came up quick. Dare I say, dare I say the warehouse I worked at growing up in, in college probably, probably would, well, they probably would violate every rule in the books. But that was a different day when people actually lived and experienced the thrill of life. We were talking at work. We got some folks at work that had never seen the documentary Idiocracy. And we're like, dude, you gotta go watch this documentary because it's a really great documentary about the, uh, well, about, about, uh, about the human race, basically. And they did have warehouses in 1876. They did. Typically, they were full of black powder, and they were stored in in burlap sacks. And you had to be careful because when you used your your lantern, you know, to get around in the in the warehouse because it's dark. Well, you got to be careful that you don't kick up too much dust. Otherwise, you might have a little bit too much light. But anyway, we we're talking about the documentary Idiocracy and how the government tries to suppress this by calling it a comedy. But it is a full-on, legitimate documentary. 
about human society and where it is going. Well, anywho. We've deduced that that documentary probably couldn't be made the this this nowadays because it would be too too offensive to too many groups because it's too much too real. It would show too many groups in a bad light because sometimes reality hurts. If you have never seen the documentary Idiocracy, I highly encourage you to go check it out. I understand it is available on Hulu. It is not available on any other free streaming service because, again, the government is trying to suppress it. But I did discover that it is available, oddly enough, on the Internet Archive for streaming. So it's definitely worth checking out. If anyone's never seen it, go watch it. Come back and report what you think. Is it a documentary or is it a comedy? Or is it a comedy documentary about the sad state of humanity? It's a documentary movie, yes. I mean, for me, I, I lump documentaries into movies because it's, it's not episodic. So anything that's not episodic is by nature a movie, at least in my loose definition. Scooter, what's what's truly a tragedy is when a good comedy is over. That's the tragedy. Everything is, everything is offensive these days. The world are a bunch of pansy. My bleeper doesn't work, so I can't go on. Uh, it is indeed Artemis, because it has electrolytes. And the smartest man in the world suggests they use toilet water instead. And while they're great skeptics, they're not sure they're willing to give it a try and see what this toilet water does to their crops.
All right, that's good enough. Welcome back. I've got another field with lime on it. I was going to put corn on the field. It's coming spring, so I think we can put a uh, we can put some compost on here. I really need to add guided steering to this mod folder at some point. I think the movie came out in 2007, so it's been out a long time. I mean, it, it's it's going to be like a classic soon. Like those black and white movies. So the one thing I talked a little bit about at the start of the stream about the farm production pack that's coming out at the end of the month and the one thing that I'm really looking forward to trying out is that Lily Sphere. I started talking about it but then we got sidetracked. What the Lily Sphere is, it's the machine, it's the placeable that you put down at your cow building or possibly your pigs, anything that makes um, anything that would make slurry and when combined with acid that you buy from a farm shop it will produce liquid fertilizer that you can then use obviously on your fields and it's a real life product. So we showed the video off last week. And I didn't even realize it was something that was, you know, it's a real thing. I'm really looking forward to using it and trying it out. And there's lots of cool technology in agriculture these days. Was that Schultz? What was that? Uh, what should it be using? I mean, did the video, didn't the video say the same acid as is in the pack? 
I'd have to go back and look the video up. Oh, let me see if I can go dig that video up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does say sulfuric acid in the video, but we'll see. Uh, let me get the link. I got a hundred up. Here it is. Okay. Spring is the perfect time for a refresh and it's Oh shush your advertisement. Shush your ad. That was not what I wanted to do. Here it is. All right. works as follows. We close a slatted floor with separation strips. These strips have small holes allowing urine to flow into the pit. Urine. The manure remains on the floor. Yeah. This is an important gain in emission reduction because enzymes in the manure convert the urea in urine into volatile ammonia. Yeah, nasty stuff. The collector cleans the ventilated air from the pit, exits the end capture, it passes through a filter. This filter captures ammonia with acidified water. The end capture works with sulfuric acid or nitric acid. There you go. Works with sulfuric or nitric, according to the video. I don't know how, I'm not a chemist, but hey. Sulfuric acid or nitric acid, both are effective. The difference is in the fertilization value. Nitric acid provides extra nitrogen and sulfuric acid adds sulfur. The end capture converts at least well, 70 maybe we're getting, of the ammonia uh, emissions from the barn into valuable maybe circular we're getting something fertilizers. Else. The system automatically registers how much nitrogen is produced and stores the ammonium nitrate or ammonium sulfate in a silo. Next to the liquid nitrogen fertilizer, two additional fertilizers are created. The manure picked up by the collector contains organic nitrogen and phosphate. The remaining urine in the pit contains mainly potassium. Ah, oh, look at that. One, two, three. Does anybody remember? I don't remember because I didn't play Farm Sim 15. But I can, you can tell you. These oh, shush it. I can tell you that uh, there was a mod that that realism players held with extremely high regard. And it was called the Soil Mod. And a Soil Mod had three types of fertilizer, or three chemicals that you had to mix in order to fertilize your fields. Nitrage, nitrogen, potassium, and um, what was the other one? I oh, just heard it. Salty, right? So, could this be a sign of something to come? Could this be a trial run? Could this be... Could this be a introduction to maybe a little bit more sophistication into the game for the next iteration? Maybe we won't see any realization from it this time around. 
But for whatever is to come next, maybe we'll have that. I don't know. It's a whole lot of speculate, right? I thought we would see that when we had... different brands of fertilizer right when we had this different bags of fertilizer were shown off in the um, you know we had this K&S with the bowl and then we had pallets Right, we had the KNS solid fertilizer, then we had this other stuff. Right, it was like we had different fertilizers. There were different brands, different labels. Uh, uh, Hoff Bergman 19 did have a, a machine where you could make fertilizer. I don't think it was so much tied to the animal pin. Whereas this one is, you place it right next to the cows and then it kind of hooks in to the cows. And then does some math in the background about how much ammonia you should be getting. And then you just add the acid. And then based on the amount of cows you have, I guess, is is how much um, liquid fertilizer you end up with. But it wouldn't surprise me if it's fairly basic and rudimentary in 22. But that potential system is incorporated more fully in whatever is to come next. Yeah, we had we had buried down in the XML in 19 a gearbox. And we got a gearbox in 22. Def was buried down in all the engines in 19. And it still kind of is in 22. We thought it would be more of a gameplay element because fact sheets in 22 incorporated def as a fill type and as a spec on the fact sheets but it turns out it's really just kind of it's there but not there and then these tractors have air fill types right but we don't have anything that really uses air yet It'd be nice to see that kind of things get incorporated. I mean, like hydraulic fluid could be a fill type. And after so many connects and disconnects, you gotta refill, you gotta add some more fluid. That would be interesting. make a big bag of compost. I 
I guess not. Let's empty this out. That way it's not full of compost and we gotta use it next. It would be interesting to incorporate hydraulic capacity. Um, I mean, we have a little bit of the concept of PTO PTO power, but it's it's a bit cheese. I don't know what map I was on, but I tried to do something with with really low powered PTO devices or tractors, and I did run into the you don't have enough power to run this when it was just a PTO thing. But I feel like I had to go down pretty extreme. Right, the Giants has to balance the realist play, the realism players, and the arcadey players. Because if they go too far on the realism side, they lose their arcade players, and they, I think, they feel they can probably shade and fade to the arcade side because there will be modders that will come to cater to the realism side. Not that there aren't plenty of arcade mods out there. That's good enough for that. There we go. We were like, find the right gear, people. Let's go check out our bowls. See how sad of a state they're in. We can actually sell one whole jug of juice. Jug of juice! There it is, our juice jug. Ah, our very own, our very own jug of juice. food you're a little thin you're a little thin in the hip let's see they are do, 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 do. Uh, now they're at 100 percent health right yeah 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 you're not happy all the food is over here you can't feed them over there which is frustrating
Where's my bicycle? Here we go. We get our, oh my gosh, we just wrecked. No, it's five liters of juice. It's only five liters. It's just in a really insulated container. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like a frozen cocktail. <laughs> if if you were to if you were to be literal about it. You know, it's frozen. It's a form of juice. more to do. I mean, you knew what this stream was when you came in. It said, it said, a load of bull. And then there were four dots. I can't spell, so maybe, maybe I needed five dots. Spelling is not my superpower. You could say spelling is my kryptonite. It ain't happening. Definitely not a keg. Keg has a spot for a tap. There's no tap on that. It's not my fault you Midwesterners talk weird. Uh, <laughs> this is what happens when you have too much weight on the back. There was supposed to be dots on the thumbnail. You know those simulations where they have a truck and a trailer on a on a uh, treadmill? That's what I feel like here. Let's 
see this that is not a spot for a tap this says cryogenic gloves and face shield required I mean, if you really want to do that, but I would definitely not want to do that. But I do think there will be plenty of people that would pay to watch you, um, do, you know, drink what's up there on this screen. Sell me some honey, lady. Let's go sell this. We're going to make a fortune. Fred, how are you doing? How is... How is... What are you getting? You're in um, early winter, are you? How is the weather? Early autumn? in the peak of uh, pollen season. I can only imagine the shade on a car is going to be in the morning. Repository. Show me the money. Forty six bucks. It's almost not worth it. It's almost not worth it. Well, what was worth it was coming out and hanging out for the last couple hours with you guys i want to thank y'all for coming out and watching maybe just maybe we'll be lucky enough to be able to stream tomorrow night as well just depends on what giant does with the mod hub if they have a major map drop then we'll be busy with that otherwise we'll be back here on the hoff bergman trying to get caught up from not being able to stream monday night or tuesday night due to other conflicts 
do go check out the mod hub because a couple interesting things dropped today the um silage wrap as a consumable for me it was probably one of the highlights for our Paytheon countryside both variants pc and all platforms got an update today with lots of cool new enhancements as well and until next time happy farming <laughs>